Today we're going to make pasta in a white clam sauce. So our first step is going to be getting our noodles together. The noodle recipe is actually really simple. It's three ingredients. It's roughly proportionally one cup of flour, one egg, and a drizzle of olive oil. If you want um, a little bit more rich pasta, you can add additional egg yolks in. But the key to this is really making sure that our moisture stays correct because if we start adding too much liquid, the pasta gets the pasta dough gets way too sticky and then we can't roll it out and use it for noodles. So what we're gonna do is put our flour in a big mixing bowl, make a little well in the middle, and then we're gonna start beating the egg and slowly as we beat the egg we're gonna bring some of that flour in with it. To be honest with you I have no idea why this is the technique that gets used but every time I've ever seen anybody make pasta this is how they do it so I'm not one to question customs and reinvent the wheel. If we need to we can add a little bit of water to make sure all our ingredients come together but again I'm gonna caution that you want to make sure you really work the dough and get it mixed up before you add water because it's easy to add too much. Once we get our dough to the right consistency we're gonna knead it for about four or five minutes and then it's optional, but letting the dough rest makes it a little bit easier to roll out when we get to the stage that we're actually making our noodles. So covering it with plastic wrap and letting it rest on the countertop for say a half hour will help you out a little bit in the next step. Now that we've let our dough rest for a little bit, we're ready to make our noodles. Obviously, if you've got a pasta maker, this step is a little bit easier, but we're gonna make them grandma style. I've got some flour sprinkled on the countertop here. We're just gonna put our dough down. And with the rolling pin, we're gonna roll it out into a nice flat sheet. Roughly, I would say an eighth of an inch thick. And while we're doing this, we're gonna take a little bit of time to talk about the quality of our ingredients. Like I said, we only have three ingredients in this pasta here. We have flour, eggs, and a little bit of olive oil. Um, with olive oil, a lot of people make the mistake, olive oil goes rancid. So the bottle that you've had sitting next to the oven for three months now, is not really good anymore and it should probably get thrown out when it comes to olive oil. It's better to buy better quality in smaller quantities because then you're going to get a good product and it's not going to go bad before you get the chance to use it all. And then when it comes to flour, this is not your normal um, gold metal all-purpose baking flour. This is some quality flour that came from a local mill and it's just gonna give you more flavor if you use just your standard all-purpose baking flour it's gonna be a little bit bland that's typically not the base of what we're using it for we add other flavors to it so if we don't do that here we're gonna end up with um boring bland pasta. So now that we've got it rolled out to our desired thickness, we're gonna take some of the extra flour and sprinkle it on top. This is important so that the pasta doesn't stick to itself. Now we're gonna take, roll it just a little bit more.
take and roll it over on itself. Find a cutting board. And this is how we make our noodles. Just gently slice. And when you unroll it, you get a noodle. When you're doing this, it's important to cut slowly. If you just cut with one swoop like that and push it. You can actually get the pasta to stick together a little bit and then it's harder to unroll into your noodles. Now that we've got our pasta ready to go, we're gonna do our best to shake off some of the excess flour. If we don't do that, it's just gonna clump up when we try and cook it. Then we are going to get them going in a pot of boiling water. We're gonna to wanna to slightly undercook it. And remember that this is not your dehydrated store-bought pasta, so it's gonna cook a lot quicker. Slightly undercook, maybe three or four minutes in boiling water. Now that our noodles are done cooking, we're gonna get going on our sauce. What I've got right now is roughly a fourth to a third cup of olive oil and we're sauteing some garlic. While our noodles were cooking we did a little bit of prep work. We chopped some parley, stripped some thyme sprigs, chopped some garlic. And once we get the garlic nice and cooked a little bit we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. Um, Again, talking about knowing our ingredients and ingredient quality, it's important to remember that olive oil has a very low smoke point. So right now I've got our temperature set to medium low. If we get too high, we're just going to start burning the olive oil. And then that's going to take away from our flavor and anything that we benefit from it. So now that we've got it cooked, we're going to add some clam juice. This is just uh, pre-cooked clams, but we're gonna separate the meat from the juice. So we're gonna add this in. Add some red pepper flakes. Parsley and thyme. And then we're going to add roughly one cup of white wine. And then we're going to let this simmer until it's reduced by about half. Now that our sauce is almost there, we're going to reduce down to simmer. We're going to add our clam meat in. Going to add our pasta. And then a little bit of lemon zest. stir this in and just give it a little bit of time to warm up let the pasta soak up some of the flavor and then we'll be good to go the last step is to get it in a bowl you can dress it up with a little bit of fresh parsley on top a dish like this isn't traditionally served with um, parmesan or any other kind of grated cheese but this is your life and your meal so eat it however you want and there you have it.